Hi, today I want to show you how to set up your developer environment. So let's use KDE official documentation because it's so useful. Let's go to kde.org and click on get involved. Then that we can search for development and then find out more about becoming a KDE developer. Which brings us to this page, which has this one time setup your developer environment, which is what we need. So first of all, we need to install these little tools, which are Git, CMake and Dialog. So sudo so apt install Git, CMake and Dialog. Git is the tool used for versioning, whereas CMake is for, is for building the application. I'm not sure what Dialog is about, honestly. Then that, you configure Git just copy paste this command and then insert your your real name which is Nicola Venerandi in this case do not put your nickname in here but your actual name or at least a name with you know first name and last name as much as possible because if you only put a nickname with a single word it will raise an error then your email which in this case is Nicolo at venerandi.com and then we just need to create a new directory called um, KDE and inside of KDE another one called source and then go into KDE source we are going to install here a very useful to tool called KDE source build just copy paste this command to get it and what this tool does is just build all of um, project and its dependencies for us so super useful then we enter the KDE source build directory let me zoom in and we just write this command which is the initial setup for KDE Boom. It's going to install a bunch of packages that are needed for your system. If you want to update your bash RC, this is quite useful. Go for yes. And then it is done. Then copy paste the source bash RC to update the new changes that are done to your system. Perfect. Let's go on. You can decide whether to build your Qt or just leave the one installed in your system. If you are using, as I'm doing, KDE Neon developer version, you should not need to, to actually build Qt5 every time. To change this behavior, however, go with edit this file and uh, comment out this line. If you do want Qt to be built by KDE, um, KDE source build, uncomment it for your uh, pleasure. <laughs> you should also uh, uncomment these lines. However, I do not actually need to uh, build Qt, so I'll keep them commented. Then this we can. Um, Ah, this is a useful suggestion that uh, was not in the wiki last time I tried this. So let's actually go to search, uh, which is Baloo, and uh, add uh, an exception for our KDE folder not to be indexed. Otherwise, it will try to index every file in this folder and it's going to be a lot to do. Of course, keep in mind that by doing this, you will not be able to actually search using Baloo within the KDE directory. Then we should download the non-KDE dependencies. We can see in this page with this link how to do that. And it is mostly by, you know, copy pasting this giant list of packages. So sudo apt install all of this stuff. Right now I'm using KDE Neon Developer Edition because it's made 
to uh, help you develop KDE application and um, frameworks, but you can actually set up your development environment in uh, whatever distro you, pr um, you prefer. I do suggest KDE Neon uh, because it's quite easy and uh, I'm doing this tutorial based on this and it, ne it never really broke up for me, so it's a good distro for developers. When it's done, close the page we've opened, let's get back to get involved, and then we can actually start building the software. Now in order to do so, we can just say as an example, kdsers build and then uh, dolphin. This will build dolphin and all of its dependencies. However, we can actually try to build only Dolphin, not including the dependencies, by installing those. So let's go to sudo apt, let me see the help one second. Okay, it should be sudo apt get build dep Dolphin. And this one should install all of the necessary dependencies. So then we can get back to the KD folder and start KD source build Dolphin. Ah, uh, sorry. And no include dependencies because we've just installed them with apt get. This command will clone the Dolphin source, update it run CMake and then try to compile it. This will take a while, so go fetch a cup of coffee while you're waiting. And uh, if you are also building all of the dependencies, uh, let's say five or six cups of coffee should be the time that it will take to compile the whole thing. And as you can see, we managed to successfully build Dolphin. Now to try out our fresh, freshly built Dolphin, we go inside the build directory. We give a look to the directories because I don't know them by heart. And we go to system Dolphin and we write source prefix.sh. When we've done that, we just go back to the KD directory. I mean, that's not necessary, but we just write Dolphin. And this is our uh, build Dolphin, which means that if we go to the uh, source code of Dolphin, which is src and um, system, sorry, uh, system and then Dolphin and we change something in the source code, then we can go and build it again. So as an example, let's see if there's something easy to change. We can, well, I don't know. There's not much easy to change. Let's do something like very stupid. Uh, if you go to the context menu, we should be able to like change just a um, um, line. So as an example, let's duplicate this adduction thing. And let's say that we actually want to try out what happens when we do this. We get go back to the build directory of Dolphin and then we run make which will you see find the file we've changed and build it again so it will be updated and when it's done we just write dolphin again and this is dolphin but with our change in it which i mean is nothing that we can actually see um, if we now would like to um, submit what we've just done um, 
maybe as a merge request we can see that what we've changed is this so we can uh, um, switch to a new branch which let's say um, should start with work maybe put your name and then what you've changed like uh, double, double trash action then um, add the file you have changed so src dolphin context menu commit so um, duplicated the trash um, action the trash action so it should be well it's only one I don't know it's probably I'm not sure what I've just changed it was something very random yeah anyway uh, and when we've committed we just say git push origin and then the name of the branch we've just done so work Nikolove double trust action uh, yes and uh, well we need to insert our fingerprint so actually let's do that we need to go to invent.kd.org let's log in uh, you seriously need to create a KD identity um, username I'm sorry account if you don't have one already mine is Nikolave and this is the password yeah and then in my preferences I should have um, SSH keys uh, uh, let's go with uh, JPG I think or maybe I don't remember what yeah I usually use SSH keys so we need to generate a new key for this computer so let's um, see this generate one tutorial so we go with um, this command Uh, this file is fine the first phrase let's leave it empty and then this is my random mart image and we can see that this fingerprint can be copied here test computer expire set uh, let's go with some random date and then we add the key this doesn't look like public are you sure you want to add it? Uh, I probably got the wrong one let's check again this one is the public one uh, sorry let's copy paste it like this let's try again and we've got our key so let's try back try again to push and we did it to create a merge request you just hold control and then click on the link which will open it up here and then it will create our merge request in here we explain what you've done and the re reasoning behind this so and this was done for absolutely no reason and uh, possibly you should also take a screenshot of what you've just done so maybe go open dolphin and then right click on a file and then um, the meta key the shift key and the stamp key should make a screenshot but not uh, you can't make a screenshot while you have uh, a context menu so go for rectangle region with a couple of seconds right click and then you select this area nice 
and then you drag it here. So you can type. Um, I'm not sure what this does, but here is a random screenshot. And then when you're done, you just go to the bottom and click on submit merge request, which I'm not going to do because I would get made fun of. So let's close this. Let's close this and this one. And uh, this is pretty much it. We can also go back to the KDE directory and um, say that if you want to build uh, Plasma, you can write Plasma frameworks, uh, framework, sorry, Plasma desktop and uh, Plasma uh, workspace. This will take a while, but you, you can also build uh, frameworks such as Kio. And uh, this should be, I uh, guess you can also build this bunch of stuff if you want to build Plasma. But I mean, the most com important components are those three. You can also um, create a new session uh, to be your developer uh, environment with all of the master build stuff according to these instructions. However, I didn't quite manage to get it working myself, so I will not show it in this video. And um, this is pretty much it. There are some uh, testing your changes and so on. You can also run tests and um, submit merge requests, communicating on team, go to KDE Devel or the mailing list and so on. So I hope that thanks to this tutorial, you will be able to create your developer environment and hopefully start contributing to KDE. Thank you. My name is Nicola Venerandi and if you want to contribute to my channel, please use PayPal, Patreon or LibraPay. You can also subscribe to get more content about KDE development.